All right, let's get started. Let's let's do the silent ascension 14 lower max hit points. Hopefully, hopefully we can do it in one shot. Okay. This is really interesting. So we're kind of left with some really bad choices here. I don't want to do the random boss relic because that can just that can just ruin the game. I don't want to do the rare card because rare cards are often bricks for our our girl here, the silent. Uh, max HP plus six just isn't enough value, and upgrade a card is is okay. Upgrading the neutralize would be okay. I mean, the thing about the rare card on silent is there's just there's just so many dead dumb cards, you know. I guess we could skip if it's really particularly bad. I wonder if taking the risk is the best. Plus 6 HP isn't good value. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so, practice pad. <laughs> Gets you a good card at shop. Well, I typically am not going to take the early shop anyway, so... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to be avoiding shops. You always choose the HP? Oh, interesting. I thought you were joking. Um No, I don't I don't think the HP is good value at all. I would uh I would say that the card here is the is the most reliable. Should reconsider your options. What do you mean, Mr. Oster? You know what? I think I'm gonna try this. Cause with three cards, one is gonna be okay. More often than not, I would bet. And and one is okay. We've got unload. Um We should not take Grand Finale. There's there's no way to make it work. Unload is clearly the pick here. Uh we don't we don't have you know the cards to, to do it with Grand Finale. It's either burst or unload. Burst is very speculative. We're gonna take the unload because this is Act One. This that that alone will let us walk through Act One. So that's pretty good. Um, in fact, we can even assume that we can do several elites. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's, let's assume we can do this, although that does put me through a shop. And I don't have any gold. Yeah, you need Runic Pyramid or something. Okay, can't kill him. Can defend, though. That's such a good card for Act 1. All you have to do is remove 7 cards, and then you can finale every turn. <laughs> every first turn, yeah. Okay, I don't think we do Dagger Throw. I, I've never thought that would be very... Good. I think we just take Piercing Whale. What's our boss? Oh, it's Hexaghost. We take Whale. Whale Whale absolutely lets us just completely trash Hexaghost. We have to take it, right? Uh. Oh, prepaid. Do you, you favor Dagger Throw? Talk to me about Dagger Throw. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on that, actually. Um. Because, like, I've always seen it as kind of a bad card. I guess it's more damage than strike. Played a game where you could have zero and discard or draw, pi draw pile. And it was a lot more viable for card play. Interesting. Dagger throws good damage and with discard mechanics it's great. Yeah, but we've already got on load is the thing prepaid so I was thinking we were good. I guess, yeah, I guess piercing whale is bad versus um, knob. Anyway, we're just going to card remove a strike. I like to card I think card remove is the most value because you get you get so few card removes, you know. In this game. So it's like being able to Remove one more card is just, it's like something you're not going to be able to do very often. Alright, 
Strike, strike, dead. Dunkin' Donuts is giving free coffee on Wednesday if you have the app. Does it come with extra coronavirus? No, that sounds pretty cool. I might I might hit hit them up. Thank you for the heads up. I wonder if that's nationwide. I'll probably take a C and D here, although it is bad versus knob. Hard to pass up C and D. C and D is just really good. Damage and block, you know? It's like a miniature bash. Or um dash rather. 33 gold, so man. I'll just go this path and avoid the shop. Okay, we could gain gold. But it's there's no more shops. There's this one up here, but again, card removal is just really good. I love prepared, but I typically only want to take it when it's upgraded marrow. Although there are exceptions, if if there's like a deck where I really want to do a lot of stuff at the same time, you know. Right, exactly prepaid. Dude, this unload is doing so much work. We even have dupe potion. I can I can dupe unload versus knob or something to really speed things up. Super sick. Look at that. I see what you mean, Marrow. Bane is really bad, Mr. Elstrom. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, we didn't draw into any attacks. That just means they're all here. 20 damage. Can I link? Can you link your phone brave account to your desktop? That I don't know. I don't actually know that practice pad. Maybe. Okay, I think we take the dagger spray. That'll that's AOE. We don't have AOE yet. There are certain hallway fights that could screw us. Okay, log of Volan. Um Do I wanna go ahead and use the piercing whale? Get it out of the fight. This is going to be a painful fight, by the way. I almost definitely want to dupe my unload right here. We're going to take a ton of damage during this fight. It's going to be super, super ugly. Let's do this. I, I want more attacks all the time. Just pass turn. It's too bad the neutralize isn't upgraded or we'd have a much easier time. Alright, here's our here's a turn. We can dagger strike strike, and then next turn we get to unload C and D. This is as good as it gets, really. I thought this guy, because of the unload, would be able to take elites, but I hadn't really considered how bad Lagavulin's gonna be. Yeah, it's probably CAD and then double unload. It could be double CAD, though. Oh, block. No. Okay, good. There's our neutralize. Helps a bit. He'll be debuffing now. Yeah, this is going to be painful as hell. Get to weaken him, get to C and D. Maybe it's not so bad. We're just not walking out of this in particularly good shape. 5, 10, 23 damage. Alright. We'll defend, we'll survivor a strike, and then we'll unload. See, he'll be debuffing, right? It looks kind of ugly, but we know we have C and D and Dagger Spray. 
should be able to kill him this turn. It's only two damage though. Two, four. Yeah, this is enough. Just barely. Whew. Hey, good. We got the best relic in the game. The ultimate. The ultimate in boot technology. Oh, God. Do I take in Venom? Uh, I could take in Venom. It's a really... Oh, my God. I'm gonna let Twitch decide this one. I, I don't... I'm not a big fan of Invenom, but I've, I've seen people in the Slay the Spire Discord talk about it like it's really good. So it's like we... I mean, and, and in this deck, it may it may very well be good. You know? With Cloak and Dagger and whatnot. Yeah, I don't think it's very viable either. Um, we could have tried it, but... Alright, do I try for this other Elite? It's early enough to take the card and then bail on it later. I think you overestimate your access to, to removes, Practice Pad. Well, we're at relatively high ascension and my hit points is only 24. I think the Elite could very well kill us. YOLO Elite, Icy Curve says. Let's see. With the Blessing of the Forge, we could probably kill Nob. Here's what I can do. I could take this and see what card we get at least. Could always bail and go to the campfire, you know. Okay, eight. Okay. It's actually ten. So I'll go to fourteen and the unload will kill him, so. Yeah, we're good. Good with shifts. Yeah, boot boot is really bad. That was a joke when I was saying it was good. It's only gonna make my shivs do one more damage, and if I get like a Vajra or something, then it'll do literally nothing. <laughs> Something good. I think I have to take the poison stab. It's a source of poison. It's good for act one. Um, we don't need a second dagger spray. There's no way. Poison stab could be the difference between winning knob and losing knob. I'll take the stab. All right, this is risky, but because I because I have unload and I have this potion, we're gonna try it. Hello, Knob. Interesting. Um, gosh, there's no way to heal before this next fight. It's lame. So even if I win this, it's going to be rough. I should have just rested and skipped it, I guess. Hmm. I don't think we upgrade this turn. I think we upgrade the next turn. On the other hand, this upgrades a lot of cards. Wanted to upgrade the neutralize though, that's really important. No, I think we I think we do upgrade here. We got the neutralize here. The poison stab. You think so, Curves? You ever notice how tiny legs flat crotch the knob is until now? Wow, he really is. He's like a Ken doll down there. But then he's he just becomes an Alpha Chad all the way from here to here. What a weird little body he has. Alright, I think we eat the 12 damage. We could do the survivor, but no, let's eat the 12 damage.
all abs all day. <laughs> 6, 12. We have to defend at least once. And again, actually. Then we have to kill him next turn. Broken dagger's good. Neutralize is good. Shiv, shiv. Okay, uh... Oh, he just dies, yeah. Boot, boot is actually helping. We get an Ori Calcum for this, so that was kind of worth it. That's a Phantasmal Killer. I don't want to use a Phantasmal Killer, even though I have Unload and Dagger Spray. We have to take the poison, yeah. You're right. Okay, I can't... I can't go to Elites now. Oh, shit, I just realized I'm forced to go to Elites now. Oh, I'm so dead, it's not even funny. Oh, shit. I didn't look at the pathing well enough. I didn't see there was an elite here. No, there's no way. This runs over. I screwed up. Ganbates Kudasai. It's it's either going to be a Log of Vulan or a Sentry. Am I picking good cards? I, I am picking good cards, Red Beardy. But I have two hit points. I'm picking bad paths. You know, good cards, bad path. Please be a healing event. No, not the... Wait, yes, yes, yes! Ha <laughs> uh, I think we have to give him our unload. I think we have to do it, because that'll full heal me. Like, I've got to do it. Like, there's no... There's not... It's not even, like, an option. It's, everything else is not going to heal me, so... All right. A lot of max hit points from that. Giving him unload so you can make a better poison deck. But we have Vajra now, bro. Which, by the way, the Vajra now means that the boot is entirely useless except on neutralize. This is the hardest floor one normal mob. Yeah, I think so too. Practice, uh, practice paddle. Except maybe the big fat slime is also kind of annoying for certain builds. Dies to poison. Hey guys, let's take Bane. <laughs> Sweet, we get to open with Dagger Spray. Okay, um... Doesn't kill anybody, unfortunately. Okay... Maybe I should have Speed Potioned. This is okay, though. I'm full hit points. Let's just, uh... Kill one of these fellas. That's a lot of high health slimes, it really is. Where's where's my 9 HP slime? Shouldn't there be at least one? They sure did. Guess I should have found a campfire and upgraded my uh my tagger spray. <laughs> That's what the game wanted me to do. Should I take a second a second C and D? I'm gonna say yeah. Especially since Knob is gone. Yeah, see, this is great. Boom. Boom. Spray these fellas. Yeah, this is a really sick dagger spray. We don't have unload anymore, so... Good to be aware. Right, defense survivor... Gonna have to poison stab the guy in the front. Actually, I could have. Oops, I could have killed him if I had done. Or could I have? Would have had three plus five. No, not enough. Five plus five. Actually, wait, maybe. Yeah, we could have killed him. I messed up. Uh, 
I didn't, uh, I wasn't taking into account the neutralized damage. So if I had neutralized him first, he would have been dead. Damn. Still would have taken damage, though, just not as much. Okay, uh... Unload sucks in this fight. It's, it's okay. It's still more damage than a strike. But, I mean, obviously it's gonna be shitty with the daze situation, I, I realize. Where's my other dagger spray, bro? There it is. Anyway, this is fine. We didn't take much damage. We were able to kill three elites, you know? Granted, the event well and truly bailed me out, despite my bad pathing, but... Still, it, it feels okay. <laughs> okay. Joke's on you, I've got Orichalcum. Gremlin Horn. Wow. We found some really good relics, man. Like, I don't really like Orichalcum on silent, but it's okay. Vodra's great. Gremlin Horn is incredible. Wow, is that another Invenom? This game wants me to take Invenom so badly. But... I'm pretty sure we don't take it. I mean, we could. We've got... Well, it's we've got two C&Ds and a Dagger Spray, so... I don't think it will be terrible. You know, this is, this is like getting a Noxious, basically. Jesus wants you to do it. <laughs> Alright, let's hit up the shop. Wow, it also offered me a Lee's Waffle. There's a footwork, there's a flask, there's a crippling cloud. Hey, by the way, um, see this card, the bomb? I don't hate this card. I feel like, I feel like this is, we always make fun of it, but I think it's actually good. <laughs> it's, maybe that's, maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. I've never bought it and tried to use it. I almost want to. It's good for second act, yeah, I think so. Man, um, it's hard to imagine not uh, not getting poison flask in a poison deck, but we've got the Envenom. I think we just do a card remove here, and then buy the footwork maybe. Oh, you're talking about Crippling Cloud? Yeah. I think we have to do a card remove. And we actually want a card remove... Let's see. Three strikes, five defends. Take the Crippling Cloud, because you pretty much always want one at some point. And then it's just a matter of, do I want the footwork or the flask? I mean, Flask is good, but we already are so hungry for upgrades, you know? Hmm. With Hexaghost coming up at full fullish hit points. I think I need the footwork to defend. On the other hand, we need to kill Hex Ghost fast. Two Cloak and Daggers. Yeah, that's the thing. I have a lot of poison already. Um, with the two Cloak and Daggers, I think we gotta go for the footwork. We've got good defense. Let's make it, let's make it better. I am gonna smith the Invenom though, so it becomes usable. Two mana, too many. He 
He's gonna do a lot of damage to me. God damn. Alright. So I could Crippling Cloud him, which is going to reduce the damage by a lot. Yep. I'd like to Footwork, but instead I'm going to C and D. We're just going to take a chunk of damage. Could have used Speed Potion, I guess. Probably going to prioritize upgrading the C and Ds. Play nice with Venom. No damage for me. Thank you, Piercing Whale, for being based as hell. We stacked up poison pretty damn fast on him, I have to say. Okay, Survivor's good enough to not take damage here. Look at this, three lights and he's already half dead. That's not half bad. Hmm. Too bad I can't get through his block. And you said invent him no good. No, it's it's working for me. It's doing a little something. For sure. There's some value here to this card. I think I always underestimated it a bit. That's very... That's very quick damage. Usually I'm not able to kill him before his second. Yeah. Alright. We probably take the die, 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 because that's really good AoE. Dagger spray is there, but may as well not have it. Although the Alchemize is a tremendous amount of value, since we have potions for the rest of the game. So, I mean, because we have the Dagger Spray, I don't want to pass up a die, 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 but I think we have to take the Alchemize, yeah. Yeah, because it's just like it's a potion every single combat. It lets me use potions all the time. Okay. Caller, kite, not the kite. Astrolabe. Does this deck need mana? I don't think this deck needs mana. I might Astrolabe today. Especially since this is the dumb hallway fight, you know, hallway fight suck type mana. You know? I'll just let the thing go by. You get mana if you discard is what the kite does. Okay. We have well laid plans, which is great. We oh this is a this is a wonderful astrolabe. Escape plan, burst plus. We can burst plus a, like a deadly poison. Um, because because practice pad, we're not, we're only discarding from survivor right now. So we would get one mana every once in a while if survivor's in hand. Burst Alchemize is to chug run, boys. Yeah, I'm probably going to discard the fairy. Alright, let's see. One, two, three elites. This is going to be a relic heavy run, I can already tell. Let's go for all these events. Hello. Should I burst Cripple Cloud or should I Envenom? I think I'm going to burst Cripple Cloud. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's normal. Like, that is that is how many trackers that sites actually have on you, practice pad. You know. Sounds Orwellian, but like, that's just romance and stuff. You know, every ad has its built-in tracker. Okay, C and D. Take no damage here. Do our well-laid plans. 
Poison stab this fella, shiv this other guy. The boot's giving us great value here. I love that we have an upgraded well-laid plan, so that's going to be great. Okay, let's discard this. He's going to die. This guy's not going to die. CND, shiv him. And then just poison him a little more. Now he's dead. Alchemize an energy potion. Running a script locker is essential for making the internet usable in 2020. Yeah, that's true. Poison and Gremlin Horn interact in a kind of stupid way, but it's not terrible. Flex Potion. Discard the Speed Potion. <laughs> Alright, Red Beardy. Fair enough. Wow, another upgraded well laid plans. Um, surely I shouldn't take a second well laid plans. Do we need card draw? I don't think we need that. I think that I think this is a skip. I was just I was just giving the well laid plans the side eye. Um but I don't think it's ever really a good idea to take two. Fairy Bottle never gets traded off for Alchemize. Is that true, Redbeardy? <laughs> that is pretty funny, love. I guess with the extra hit points, then the... The Fairy Bottle is a little better. Hello, Zoggy. Welcome to the stream, guys. Okay, um... Let's do this first. Boom. Okay, I'll drink the Flex Potion, because we're going to Alchemize this turn. Fairy is one of the highest value potions in the game. I hadn't really been thinking of it that way, but I, I guess I could see it. Various best potion. I wouldn't go that far. I would say that uh, probably ghost potion is best. Well, a speed potion is usable, is why I was keeping that. You know, the, the fairy bottle doesn't do anything for a very long time. Yeah, Dew Potion is really good for finishing fights that you otherwise couldn't couldn't win, which is nice. Fairy Bottle saves at least that much without costing card plays. Oh, I do have Ori Calcum. You're right, practice pad. I shouldn't have used the defend. <laughs> Whoops. Put dazes in my deck for no reason. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, if I don't want to take damage, I've got to do this. Okay, that's another C and D. That'll, that'll do. a lot of dazed in my deck. Why don't we... Yeah, whatever, I'll go ahead and do this. I'll die if I can do any more damage to him. Nope! Whatever, he's dead now. He'll take the damage, I'll block everything, and then he's dead. We already have a lot of sources of poison. I'm, I'm almost, I almost don't even want to take the fumes, but it's really good, so I probably have to. Um, I don't think I need a third C and D, but I could. I have to. I have started removing defense. Riddle works well with boot. Nah. 
I'm gonna take the fumes. It's hard to pass up fumes. It just does stuff each turn, you know? Although, burst C and D is pretty cool. Speaking of which... Let's see, that would be two attacks, or we could just... C and D poison. I want a poison stab. Venom plus Riddle plus Boot. <laughs> yeah, and see, that's what I was thinking. I've always been kind of dubious about... about, um... and Venom, but it doesn't seem... doesn't seem that bad. I just... I just need to upgrade the C and D really, really badly. Alright, um... One, two, three, four. I want the well laid plans, but let's just drink this, do everything. Drink that. Burst out the poison stab. Or rather, uh, Memories out the poison stab, maybe. That would be 9 plus 5 is 14. Not enough to kill the guy in the front, unfortunately. So we'll just do this. Would have been nice if I had drawn my, uh, Dagger spray would have been really helpful, in fact. <laughs> there it is. And my crippling cloud is also good here. Um, making these guys weak. I think I have to do that, unfortunately. I don't think I get to alchemize here if I don't want to take as much damage. Could have alchemized and maybe the potion would have helped us, but whatever, I get to retain this. Oh, right. I, uh, I have Gremlin Horn. I do freelance programming and stuff. Practice pad. Among other things. Um, there's our Alchemize. Let's use it. Weak Potion. Eh. Can't kill these guys this turn. Looks like I'm going to have to survive or defend, although they're just getting stronger, so I think I just have to take the damage. Dagger spray, and then survivor. Probably could have run this fight a little better. It's not, it's not ideal. Well, it's just not going well. Um... I can burst the whale out. Can we can we kill these guys somehow? No, we can't. Yeah, I guess we could burst CD a couple of times. 612, 1224, that'd be enough. Um, it's probably correct, although burst whale blocks 12. Well, burst whale blocks 12 each. Horn gets so annoying with poison and thorns. Yeah, it does. It sure does. See, I'm not going to be able to do that, you know? Like, I can't, I can't get the value out of the horn. We could, we could shiv him right now, I guess, and get the value out of the horn. I guess I should. Yeah. Eviscerate, endless agony, and shuriken. Yeah, that sounds pretty strong, Marrow, for sure. Sounds great, in fact. I have yet to play a truly fun shuriken deck with uh, Silent. Okay, I don't think we take any of this. It's too late for a Masterful Stab. Let's just skip.
Okay. Okay. Crippling Cloud is almost definitely the play. Make them all weak. Actually, I want to do this. Boom, boom, boom. There's my escape plan. Good. There's my Noxious Fumes. Sadly, that's not a skill, so I did not get any armor out of that. Sort of cucked. Uh, I'm not going to be envenom envenoming. Let's just weaken him. Probably C and D. Block a little bit. I almost want to well lay plants here so that my next turn doesn't suck. Or even noxious fumes or something. Or even just dagger spray. Because, <laughs> like, this, this battle is going to go crappy really, really quickly. Huh. It's only six damage that I block, but it is damage that I do get to do, so... Alright, we'll just do that. Um, focus the guy in the back down. Alright, oh, Orichalcum. That was a mistake, actually, because of Orichalcum. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna footwork... Wait, no, we're gonna burst... Hold on, if I burst the defend, or if I burst the cloak, I have 12 armor. Yeah, it's not enough. But if I footwork, then I'd have 16. 10, 15 plus 6, we would still take damage, so I think I have to burst the whale, unfortunately. If I don't want to take damage. Okay. It's not bad. Weaken him. He's doing the most damage. Hey, bad hits. Thanks, thanks for the follow, bad hands. Poison stab him. He'll die the turn after this one. Taking some damage here. Taking a lot of damage here. It's not so good. Wait a minute, do I just die this turn? Okay, cool. You've come in time to watch me lose this run, maybe. Let's see. They're gonna do 24 damage. I have to do this. Not having Slaver's Collar. <laughs> Is that why I'm losing? I can't kill him. I can't kill him because the poison... Uh, or the, the weakness, he would die from poison, but... No, wait, I can kill him because of boot. So... Let's see, I could shiv him and kill him. And neutralize him, and I'd have to do both. This guy's weak, this guy is not, so I almost want to neutralize him. But the defend's just not going to do it, that's going to take us to 11 block. I think we have to kill him, abuse the horn, and get something to save my ass that's not this situation. What would even do it? Would anything do it? I guess an escape plan would do it. Or an alchemize could do it. Yeah, no. Green eggs. Brave is Brave is great. Brave is a really good Brave is a really good browser, man. Um Yeah, what could I draw into? Is there anything I could do? Another defend, a burst perhaps, a survivor would be great. Eight plus, let's see, five plus, how much armor do I actually need? They're doing 24. I have effectively six plus six, 12 hit points. 12 plus five is 17. Need to get above 24. 17 plus eight is uh, 25, that'd be enough. All right, well, we gotta, gotta kill him. Nope, that's it. Nope, that's it. Nothing to do. I just lose. Alright, this is a pathing error. I know exactly what I did wrong. I just, I shouldn't have pathed into elites without the... 
I got overconfident with how well the deck was going. Like, I pathed into those elites. I didn't have the Slaver's Collar, because uh, I chose to take the Astrolabe. And the deck just didn't have the power that I thought it had to deal with that situation. Um, that, and I got rid of the Fairy Bottle, which was um, pretty dumb. Okay, um... Do, 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 do. I'm trying to look if I can get a free elite. Two battles, three battles, no. Two battles, yeah. It's not possible. Well, maybe. Let's see. No, that's two battles. This is two battles. The deck wasn't going that well in the first place. Well, we needed a catalyst, okay. <laughs> I'm tempted to get the 250 gold, actually. That's, yeah, the gold is really good. Skip these elites and go for the early shop. That looks correct. Would have never thrown fairy. Yeah, I think my situation with Hexaghost kind of made me a little too, a little too confident, perhaps. All right, let's take this path. It has the most card options. And then Poison doesn't work in Act 2. <laughs> yeah, I think I hate this character. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think I just don't like Silent. No reason to attack. He's got 6 block. This uh, first hallway fight is uh, absolute... Garbage RNG for our card draws. It's gotta be ironclad for me. King cube. 6, 12, 18. Hmm. It's not dodge and roll. What's our boss? Hexaghost. Infinite Blades is really bad, but I feel like maybe you're supposed to take one in Act 1. Finisher is terrible, but... I mean, no, this is this is all terrible, I know. It's just like, I don't want to pass up anything that can help me in Act 1, but I think I have to skip. Okay. We'll take the two damage, no big deal. Probably draw into three strikes next turn. Yeah, Finisher can get strong, but probably not in Act 1. I'm not going to try to build my deck around it. Uh, okay. Take an early footwork. Seems good. No problem, practice pad. I uh, hope it improves your browsing experience, man. Burst concentrate skewer combo. <laughs> oh no, red beardy no. That's that 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 sentence is so cursed. Well, I mean, computers are... it's a thing where you... It's a learning process, man. Like, I always tell people that getting a computer science degree, you don't really learn anything other than how to teach yourself how to program, you know? Yeah, we're gonna take the dash for sure. There's no question in Act 1, it's just too good. Alright, shop time. Early shop, 389 gold. What do we got? We got the well-laid plans, we gotta buy that. Uh, you got... should I go for big meme? Should I go for big meme and make my card rewards worse and... Probably suffer for it. <laughs> it's definitely not the optimal thing to do, but I'm going to do it because it's hilarious. And I'll probably take the Apotheosis as well. Alright, let's go. 
Well, let's go. Uh, and actually, this this deck can be this this deck can be uh, early elites, I think, because of dash. Although maybe I should upgrade my apotheosis at this uh, campfire. <laughs> now let's 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 do this elite because there's two campfires in this path. Why does Twitch block me from chat when I use a VPN? I don't know. Uh, it may be like a an abuse type, a, a thing to like counteract abuse or whatever. I don't know. A path always has to be upgraded. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, sadly we don't get to kill him. Actually, yeah, we do. We can strike him. <laughs> How do you guys like my uh, my orb slot here? Why did I get into programming? I'm just really into computers my whole life, you know? I wanted to become a game designer, actually, which is a pretty typical story, I guess. I'm actually working on a game right now, but I kind of have it on hiatus because I'm... working on the second... I'm, I'm writing a I'm writing a fantasy novel. I wrote one and I'm working on the sequel. Okay, I think we take the protect. Protect is really good. Nice watcher card for us. Apotheosis Smith. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's coming along. I could show you some videos from it later if you wanted. Okay, um... Man, imagine if we got like a... What's what's that one card that Watcher has that makes retain stuff cost less? That'd be pretty cool if we could get that. Oh, I should have hit the one that was slightly less... had slightly less hit points. Alright, we should protect here. I'm... Tempted to well laid plans just to have it. Um, no, I'm I'm gonna well laid plans and we're gonna defend. We'll take the three damage. No, I have not seen that game, but I do like small projects, you know. Okay, eighteen block, fifteen block. Uh, let's go ahead and use it. Keep the dash. A walking simulator. <laughs> Harsh. Saving the dash for a bad turn, you know? Whoops, I should have dash survivored. Except, oh man, just barely. We could almost kill him, but not quite. Playing too fast, guys. It's that, that DCSS run I did earlier. <laughs> this completely turned my brain off. Okay, we can neutralize him, we can kill him. We can just defend, and then keep the survivor. The reason I protected here, instead of using my survivor, is that I didn't want to discard a daze. fine for the rest of the fight, by the way. It's just slow. Yeah, Flood Killer, that takes a while, man. Do I play modded characters yet? I, I have not... I have not yet, uh, played any mods in Slay the Spire. Okay. 
Okay, I hope I don't draw into too many dazes. What kind of modded characters are there? Okay, finally, GG. Um, Matroshka, let's see. I guess I don't take the Entropic Brew. <laughs> I'm told that I'm not allowed to get rid of Fairy in a Bottle, and I, I guess last game that was a good... Good example of why not to get rid of your fairy in a bottle. So. Okay, unless we got a barricade, the entrench is useless to us. This this looks like a skip to me. I don't know if I'll ever even be able to enter Wrath, so. Yeah, we skip. We'll, uh... Smith the footwork. Yeah, I threw fairy and I died for it, man. Blood vial, very good. Ornamental fan, all right. You never know when you'll need it. So I've learned. Um, good stuff is happening to us, it's true. I'm gonna probably go for the super elite. Do I want to take this event, or do I want a campfire? I almost don't care about campfires because I've got Apotheosis. I almost want to just take events and hope we get something... something fun, like a remove shrine. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, well, we got something not fun, like a bunch of, uh, these guys. Okay... Six, twelve, plus four, sixteen, twenty. Although I could strike and kill him now, he's only doing four damage now. It's best if I protect, probably. Take two damage, or four damage, rather. Dash prevents seventeen damage. Oh, uh, you're right, because I could have killed him with Dash. Dude, I'm brain dead tonight. Now we're weak. Okay, I can strike strike to prevent four damage. Yeah, I should have dashed. You're 100% right. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, dash is a really good, really good card, Rube. It would have been the right thing to do in this situation. It just wasn't paying enough attention. Okay, he dies. Defend, defend. Ah, I should have defended three times, actually, because of the upgrade. It doesn't actually matter, though. We don't take damage. Yeah, Duck Duck Go is very good. Okay. Not bad. Strike this guy. Dash. Very good. Things are very strange with this prismatic shard. Um, I do not think we take the double energy, although we could. We could take take the overclock, but I don't think we want burns in deck. I don't think the draw is worth the burns. This looks like a skip to me. I mean, the prepared is okay. The prepared is okay because we will upgrade it. Yeah, Rube, it is it is a prismatic shard run. Yeah, I don't think we take. I don't think we take any of that, although we do have well-laid plans, which makes the 
double energy more viable later on. Don't think we take it. Um, let's take the event. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, could take the shop and remove the curse, but that's dumb because I can just take the elite instead. Just gonna go for max HP, which we gave some up for gold anyway, so. Yeah, green eggs, welcome. Welcome to the ultimate run. Honestly, it's not going too bad. I don't I don't hate what's going on right now. Got the sweet watcher card here, you know. Okay. Um Prepared is a good card, but I'm saying it's especially good upgraded. We'll be able to kill him next turn. Nice to have Tash being an attack, yeah, right? GG Knob. Oh man, Singing Bowl! Are you serious? Alright, do we take the Electrodynamics? Um... <laughs> do we do we take electrodynamics or do we just take a shrug it off? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I guess we do it. I for the record, I think the optimal thing to do here is uh shrug it off, but um this is this is the fun play. <laughs> yeah, I should probably think a little more huh, Rube. But we're memeing. We're memeing today. Oh, I should go for maximum hallway fights for more more options, you know? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Not take electrodynamics? Exactly. I can I can channel Mr. Ostrom, it is absolutely true. Uh, that's that's not true. I could get myself a capacitor. All right. Uh, wow, body. Whoa, body slam. Hold up. Body slam is actually great. I'm silent. Why would I take conclude? I don't. I don't even like conclude when I'm playing Watcher. No, it doesn't rise all. Dude, I think we take Body Slam. Imagine... Imagine Body Slam turns with Dash. Okay, it's another one of these guys only regenerating. Concludes saves APM. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I guess. Am I being memed right now? Makes the fight go, go faster, I guess. The rare silent body slam run. Hell yeah. Well, we've got to not lose here first. Uh, I think I've got to protect and then defend. I need my apotheosis up. Don't have to hit that in turn button. <laughs> nice. Okay, we take 10 damage here. The AoE is good. I don't I don't disagree, but I feel like we can do more with Body Slam here. Check it out. Casual 30 damage. I see that happening a lot, actually. I think this will be pretty good. Especially with Protect, you know, Protect and Dash.
but wait. It's time to do electrodynamics on this on this silent run. Getting actual value out of it too. <laughs> Looks like my lightning is counteracting his regen. G drill, thank you for the sub, man. Really appreciate that. All right, well, of course we take adrenaline. That's just a free card, basically. It's not like I'm gonna not take adrenaline. Uh, should we go ahead and smith that? Because we could get that before we could get that before the apotheosis. So yeah, let's let's smith that. He likes turtles. Alright, no turn one apotheosis. What a shame. It's okay. Strike. 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 I guess I probably should have made him vulnerable. Uh, practice pad? Yes, I, I believe so. I'm not 100% on that, though. Okay, let's make him vuln. Which I should have done before. That weakness is very well timed. Very happy that showed up. We'll protect. 6, 12, 18. We'll defend. We still get to body slam. I could electrodynamics, but let's wait. Pretty good. Ornamental fan there. Everything uses less memory than Crow. Dude, it's true. Okay, we could dash, but I want to get my footwork out. Hmm. Well laid plans. Defend. Defend. I really don't know how this shard run's gonna go, but I think it's just gonna be body slam centric. Opera uses more memory. Opera? I've never actually used Opera. Heard a lot about it, but I've never tried it. Okay. I need more mana. I can't Electrodynamics here. But we have so much defense that it just doesn't matter. He's going to do a super move. We're just going to block it all. Probably with, let's see, I think Protect Survivor is probably the best. 6, 12, 18, already blocking it all. Survivor anyway. Body slam him for 33 damage. Keep the dash, keep the strike. Yeah, this is effective. We get to keep things like dash with well-laid plans and then draw into our protect again, which auto-retains, you know? Although we need to kill this guy soon, because these burns are going to become a problem. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I'll defend. Otherwise, I'll take damage. He'll have a turn or two buffing here and there. Okay, there's an easy turn. Let's see. Strike. Strike. Cool. Just defend. But bro, I want to retain my burn. Okay. Strike. Strike. 
defend for the burn, and he dies to lightning. Pretty easy fight. Bros, we could take a second electrodynamics, which I'm not gonna do. <laughs> Is Ragnarok worth it? Not really. We don't have strength or wrath form or anything. I think we just take the after image. We could take the max HP here, but after image is... After image is legitimate. After image will legitimately give us some more block. Helps a bit with body slam too. Alright, I think this is fellow stone. Although we, we do have blood vial for the coffee dripper. It could very well be dripper. And bros, we could get a reaper. It's not gonna happen, but we could get one. <laughs> I'll leave it to you guys to choose, actually. Okay. Stone could be bad against uh, stab man, but we'll see. Bird says no to fill up stone. I, that, yeah, bird with stone is gonna be a sad time for me. Alright, I believe this deck can crush elites. We're gonna keep going for elites. Okay. One. Two. So yeah, one and then two and then that's it. Or one, two, three, four. That's gotta be the most. Yeah, that's gotta be the most. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's electrodynamics. Genuinely useful amount of damage. Probably just dash and take some damage. Or I could defend. Let's see, I have one armor. 12 plus 9 is 21, 22. 10, 17 is how much damage they're doing. I don't want to not dash. You know what? I'm going to drink this and see if we get our. Okay, we didn't get it. I was hoping for body slam. I think Survivor Defend is fine here. We have enough damage here. Mostly due to this lightning. Oh god. Alright, um... Alright, bro. Oh, is that true, Praxis Pad? That's pretty cool. Cutting potion. Well, that's that's deceive reality. Deceive reality seems really good with um Seems really good with body slam. Wave of the hand would be good too, just because. I can't not take a Deceive Reality, though. <laughs> Deceive is one of the best block cards in the game. Okay, Piercing Whale, no. Neutralize, okay, I just took a second Neutralize, I didn't want it, but okay. I do want the Adrenaline. I'll take a Noxious Fumes, nope. Got memed. Nothing to do when you get memed. Hmm, 
Okay. There's the safety. Neutralize him to make him weak. Use the safety. I guess I'll go ahead and body slam him. I'll drink this. Actually, is this necessary? This is not necessary. It's a slow fight, but it's one that we win. Without taking any further damage. Dude, imagine body slam this turn. Wouldn't that be nice? But yeah, we can retain a bunch of safeties and have a huge body slam turn. Ideally. I need barricade. Well, that's... I'm probably not going to be so lucky. But, I mean, yeah, if I got, if I got barricade, that'd be pretty sick, wouldn't it? Look how much damage we can stack, even when we're not trying, you know? What I want is establishment. Okay, here we go. This is it. We're gonna protect. We're gonna safety. We're gonna survivor. Just body slam him. Okay, this is a skip. <laughs> as fun as it would be to have access to frost, um, this is absolutely a gain hit point type situation. Yeah. You wanted me to take the cold snap? Oh, you wanted the, the skip, yeah. Oh no! Ice cream would have been so cool with this deck. I would have had like infinite mana. Turbo cocked out of tungsten rod, ice cream, and the... Well, I guess I could buy the strange spoon, but who cares about that? Hey guys, I got apotheosis multiple times. Turbo cocked. I can't believe. I hate. I hate leaving the ice cream behind. All right. Forget poison. Let's just remove, man. Could take the magnetism. Uh, no, nah, I'm just gonna leave this place. I could. I'm tempted to take the purity actually, to get rid of strikes and defends. No, let's just save our money. I think. Spoon and deceive reality isn't nothing. Oh, you mean because of the safeties? I didn't think of that. I guess I would get to keep the safeties. Well, with that combo, I have to wonder. Um, okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, whatever. I don't get another shop. Retain the safety good, retain the smite less good. <laughs> hmm. Okay. There's not gonna be another shop. So I'll get it. Uh, Alright, so... I think I'm gonna take the path with the monster because we really don't need upgrades because of the apotheosis. Uh, that would that would let us, um, yeah, Rube, that would let us have a huge body slam. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> 
Hell yeah. Protect is expensive is the thing. Crap, we're taking a little damage here. I shouldn't have made him stronger. But we get to kill him this turn, so that's fine. Okay, I should have after imaged first. That was a mistake, but it's okay. So I'm just doing this to kill him. Finally, Apotheosis. Get the well-laid plans out. Kill this fella. Safety is a good card. I don't think we're gonna get Establishment, but man, imagine how good it would be if we did. We're just playing a Watcher deck now. <laughs> Imagine that, the best cards are Watcher cards. What a surprise. 9, 18, 27, he dies. Neutralize. Safety plus, hell yeah. Yeah, I, I know I have Skull Potion, I'll use it if I'm about to take a bunch of damage. Which I may be about to. No, we're not. We're good. Establishment is god tier with well-laid plans. Yeah, absolutely. What's my favorite extensions for Brave? Um, I use the Gab extensions, or at least I used to. Um, haven't been on there lately, but... The thing is that it's like... any Anything that works with Chrome... will work with Brave, so, you know, whatever your favorite extensions are for Brave, or for Chrome, then same stuff. Oh, we get to keep our Adrenaline with the Spoon as well, by the way. Something I was thinking about, but didn't, didn't say. Boom! Kept it again. Sweet. Alright, let's... Let's safety... Let's safety... Let's protect... 57 block. Just dash this guy. Too bad we're weak. We should be doing like 74 damage. <laughs> e shake <Rimlets. laughs> Yes, indeed. Spooned adrenaline. Oh, that's some big damage. 13 strength, huh, buddy? Okay. 14, 28. 42. Yeah, we're good. Man, this deck would be having some serious trouble if I wasn't pimping with this uh, Prismatic Shard. <laughs> okay, I should probably kill this guy. Okay. Another 42. I sure wish I had Caltrops. Shard best relic. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Where's my body slam, bro? Not here. Not here. I can't kill him. So we might as well kill his allies again. Feels sort of bad, but... What is this hand? I don't even know, man. Should have retained some defense there, actually. But I... This is okay, we drew our body slam. 
Okay. This is what I'm talking about. With the safeties. And the body slam. Ceramic fish. Establishment would be great. Oh, bros, it's claw. It's claw time, baby. The best card in the game, baby. Could go Reach Heaven. Um, I don't think Reach Heaven is worth it, though. I mean, we do cycle through the deck pretty fast. It is it is a form of scaling. Uh, not even joking, that is a way to scale. We don't have a way to scale right now. Um, I think I have to take the hit points, though. The, the day that I rely... The day that I rely on a claw deck with Prismatic Shard for scaling is uh, not today. Okay, 9x3. Six, twelve, eighteen. That's not going to be good enough. Ten, fifteen. Whatever, I'll go ahead and use this. <laughs> oh, I've been cucked. Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, bullet time is cool, but not for this hand. Oh, well, whatever. It gives me enough with after image. I think so, green eggs. You're talking about malleable. Do a little more damage if I body slam. Okay, that's footwork. Take two damage here. Oh uh, yeah, Tank Tangela has... Is that what Tangela has? Uh, bros, we needed the claw scaling. We didn't get it. 9, 18, 27. Good body slam. Oh wow, that's self-repair. I don't want to take the power through because we have no way to get rid of wounds. That could get bad very fast, that's like anti-scaling. I think we do take the self-repair. That means we could have taken the dripper, but that's okay. Um, it's fine. Okay, it's a uh, fellow stone stab book, huh? Should we discard the self repair for damage, more damage? I think we should. deck looks better and better. It's more and more awkward, really, but yeah. 6, 12, 18. Yeah, I'll defend. Don't want no wounds. Don't want wounds on my deck. Okay, that's good. Well, it's hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, you don't, you don't necessarily know. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty four. Eighteen, twenty four. Yeah, we're we're good. And I still get to strike. Boy, he sure is scaling. 
I hate the fact that Spoon interacts with Apotheosis in this way, so now it's stuck in my deck forever. Not forever, but a while. 6 times 5 is 30. Have Body Slam in hand. Yeah, let's let's stack this. Yeah, that's not bad. Really happy I took that body slam. I don't get to do my self repair. We could probably stall this one more turn. Yeah, I can stall this one more turn. Yeah, we're good. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Electrodynamics. That's a good point. I can upgrade my safeties. Right, Sneko Skull's funny because we have no way to apply poison and we don't even care. Ooh, do I take a second body slam? I think I do. Or we could take Pact, but I don't think I care about Pact when there's another body slam. We can double body slam, brothers. Alright, this is more... Wait, no, there's... I could do both elites, so... Take this path. <laughs> Yeehaw! Pact is funny with Spoon, that's true. Alright, 14 damage. We can make him weak. I'm eyeballing my hand to see if I want to after image or not. Yeah, I do. Defend. Defend, I would have liked to have electrodynamics, but this is fine. Deceive reality, very good. There's my Apo. Okay. Three mana. Um, yeah, if I defend... And then probably protect. Yeah, then we get to do this. He dies. Worth. You will always exhaust with Pact and Spoon. Really? Are you sure about that? No late plans, very good. I wonder if a Cinder's Bane can go into the discard because of Spoon. Now that would be unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I know. Ethereal counts as exhaust. I was just hoping there was some kind of special exception. Dude, we are just... We're just putting this Chosen through the, the meat grinder here. Just brutalizing him. turn. Maybe I can get my heal. No, whatever. Yeah, when a path doesn't get exhausted, that's sad. Okay. That's a Dark Shackles, that's pretty good. That's Glacier, that's great. I guess. I mean, I'd really like to have more slots. The Dark Shackles is probably the best card here, especially with with the fact that we've got uh, Spoon. I think we have to take the Shackles. I'm going to let the Twitch chat decide, though, on this one. Okay. It'll help me counteract uh, Fellow Stone against the Heart, at least.
Nice. Yeah, pretty good first turn. Took a little damage, but that's to be expected. This is my revenge against these douchebags from the last time. So they're no good boys. I think these guys have probably made me lose more runs than anybody else. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised anyway. like to self-repair, but I don't get to. Yeah, Dark Shackles with Spoon is really good. Hey, okay, cool. I adrenaline into some wounds. The best card. It's very important for me to retain these wounds. I'm cycling the deck until I can get my healing. Just realized the pick is ironclad being sad, is it? Oh yeah. I guess so. There it is. Heart of War, Poison Potion, okay. That's an all for one. We could all for one our body slams, I guess. Is that worth doing? <laughs> um, we could all for one Adrenaline. We can all for one Dark Shackles. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Neutralize. Yeah, that's, that's worth, man. That's what you might call worth it. Okay. <laughs> I'm Hro. All for one claw. Hell yeah. The ultimate combo. Okay, we got our Dark Shackles, that's cool. Um, I think I'm weak again. Just all for one him. Pull all this shit back. Shackles again, goes back into the discard pile. Very cool, baby. Okay, unfortunately I gotta defend if I don't want to take damage. Dude, all for one's awesome. Apotheosis. Deceive. Dash, and then we may as well use the body slam, although I suspect maybe I should be retaining the body slams until I have, like, a truly amazing turn. Um, let's see, let's read it. Yes, it should. It should do that. This is a weird deck. It's a really bizarre, bizarre deck. Get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. Yeah, the adrenaline lets me get a lot, a lot of energy alongside the Art of War since I'm not really doing attacks for the most part.
Oh right, I only have one well laid plans because it's not upgraded. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Okay, do we take a true grit? Uh, I feel like I can true grit away my... Uh, fish gives me gold when I take cards. I could true grit away my defends and my strikes, which would make the deck more reliable. Or we could just take HP, but I think we take the true grit. Um, especially since I have Spoon. True Grit's bad with Spoon. I, yeah, it's a, I was thinking it was good, but... I think you're right, actually. I should take the hit points, because I'm going to retain a bunch of crap. And it's it's only 9 HP, or 9, uh, nine armor. So it's like, I'm basically trying to exhaust something. But I only have, let's see, 5 block from a defend... Versus 9 from the true grid. I'm, I'm essentially, I have a defend that gives me 4 extra block. I'm not so sure. Spoon does not discard exhaust cards that are not played. Shit, you're right. You're right, only if played. Oh, that means that, yeah, that means that the... Uh, that means that the curse doesn't happen either. You're right, you're right. I'm not paying enough attention, you're 100% right. Okay, verified Sneko does work with the potion. It's okay, it's a learning experience, you know. He's gonna hit me, so I might as well use my heal. Okay. Okay, 6, 12, 18. Take a little more damage. Actually, no, because of the ornamental fan. Yeah, that's not bad. Shuriken would be, believe it or not, kind of good in this deck. Oh shit, I should have after imaged. I messed up. Eh, whatever, I'll, I'll heal this back. It's no big deal. Hey, it's body slam time, baby. Uh, do this stuff first. Do that. Boom! Is there anything to recover, or do I need a new save? Uh, Rizal, you can... You can, you can just, like, recruit new guys. I mean, you can totally recover. I mean, honestly, one of the reasons I don't like Darkest Dungeon is because it's a, uh, it's just a slog, man. Like it's uh, it's a time investment more than anything. So TPKs are almost unavoidable to some degree. And so, then you just hire a new party and you have to build it up from scratch. You can get your uh, relics or whatever back, by the way. There is a mechanic in the game to do that. Dude, should we doom and gloom? <laughs> is that is that worth it? Uh, to get some dark? Not really. Third eye could be pretty cool, I guess. I, I think we just get the max HP, though. Doom and gloom! <laughs> I just uh, re-upped this to have a little more time to think about it. Everybody thinks I should get third eye. I guess I probably should get third eye. I guess scrying is pretty good, but... Acrobatics is, yeah, prepaid. Acrobatics is probably better because it'll let me draw into my apotheosis quicker. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm going to take the acrobatics. When I get a deck like this, I, I quickly start to realize that the correct thing to do is to... And if I need the apotheosis to be good, I need to take cards that let me get to that faster, you know? Fourteen... Okay, we'll dash him, we'll defend, take no damage. 
Spray 3 and Draw 3 are equally good? No, because Draw 3 lets me get to, get to the Apotheosis that turn. Scry 3 lets me get to it later. Um, so they're they're almost the same, but not, not quite. Like, they're the same if I'm not doing it that very turn. I'll say, I'll say that. So I did the self-heal first because I want an upgraded well aid plans because I'm greedy. Keep the shackles. Mm-hmm, okay. Maybe I should have kept the Art of War, you know, whatever. Apotheosis. Um, whoops. Okay, that's not as good as it was supposed to be, but... It's fine. Just adrenaline here. No! I am playing way too fast, you're right. Shacklesome. <laughs> that exhausted too. Bad luck. You know what? I'll go ahead and use the safety. Let's body slam him. The idea, I think, is going to be to get him to 221 hit points. And then just hang out until we have the best body slam hand possible, you know. Okay. Uh, if we don't want to take damage, we have to acrobatics here. I'm just going to use a well laid plan so I can have the upgraded one. So now we can start holding our body slams. For the ultimate all for one hand, you know? <laughs> like body slam, body slam, all for one, you know what I mean? Pretty sick. Even protect is looking kind of bad now, you know? Oh shit, whoops. I didn't realize I had both body slams. I'm blind. That's okay, we'll cycle through super, super fast. I don't want to hold the all for one. I want to hold the two body slams and then I want to draw into the all for one. This guy really cannot hurt me in his first phase. Boom, boom. Keep the body slams. Discard everything else. This is kind of like scaling. It's scaling with a ceiling, is what it is. I love the two neutralizes. We get to keep them weak forever. But yeah, practice pad, I agree. Body, uh, or excuse me, exhum would be really good, for sure. Okay, drawing less than a full hand now, that's fine. Hey, Artagus. No, this is the new version of uh, Bee Crawl, actually. How you doing tonight, man? Oh yeah, you got the green cacodium in there, you go. Alright, there's the all for one. How much damage can we set up here? We only have four mana. I should have set up an Art of War turn, actually. That was a big mistake, because we could have had an extra mana. Don't get to do Adrenaline. I could 
could just... Safety, safety, safety. Do I want to wait until Frail is gone? This is going to have to line up perfectly. Damn. Um, safety, safety, safety. Deceive reality, that would be... No, because we need mana for all for one. This deck is so hungry for mana. If I get something that lets me set up huge amounts of mana somehow, then we're going to want to use it. This would be... It's really not that much damage. 30, 33 if I use all three safeties. 66, it's just really not much. Um, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Um, hey, Artagus. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. If you play one more vanilla run, I will sub to Gamma's twit. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Thought we were friends, bro. Don't do it. And I'm going for it. Uh, Okay, we're actually going to hold off on the body slams now, though. That just let me get some safeties out. I, I want to get him close to 220, but not quite there. can still retain my two body slams like this. And we can set it up again, maybe with a more advantageous turn where I'm not frail. You know what's funny? If I had the claw... Guys, if I had the claw, we could be infinitely scaling here. Ice cream would have been good, yeah. Ice cream would have been not quite infinite scaling, but it would have been it would have been better scaling than this. This is just a little questionable. It's not bad, so to speak, it's just a little questionable. That frail's gonna last forever. This is outrageous. Um. Damn. I don't even want the protect, to be honest. Safeties are better per mana. There's our five mana. But we did not draw into the card we needed. Protect trash. I wouldn't say it's trash, it's just not what we want. Protect. Defend. I'm just waiting to draw into my my all for one again, and then I think we'll do this. We'll just cycle back into body slam at this point. Oh yeah, maybe so. Pass turn. I don't want to activate my Art of War here. Yeah, we're trying to keep him below 220 hit points on purpose. Alright, this is the turn. So I get to safety, safety, safety. And then body slam, body slam, all for one. Gonna get some neutralizers on top of that, I guess. Cool thing is, we have safeties and discard pile as well. It's not bad. Alright. Body slam. Body slam. All for one. Pull this stuff back. Neutralize. Neutralize. Body slam, body slam, take him down to 100. That's not bad. It's not as fast as I wanted it to be, but it's not bad. He's going to clear off the weak next turn after this. Um, ooh, oh no, my discard pile's empty. Damn. Acrobatics. Discard that. Neutralize him. We do get to do the all for one body slam, but at what cost, you know? I guess I can safety here. 
And then we get to do, what, like 13 plus 13? Is that even worth it? It's probably better to do it as Sea of Reality. And just defend or whatever. And do a single attack and then have a safety for next turn. 13 plus 13 plus 10. That's true. No, let's let's go for the kill. Because there's other... There's a neutralize here as well. Except that's gonna... The weakness is gonna... Unfortunately... Get purged off. What's up, buddy? 34x2 casual damage here. Um... Well, this is a kind of, kind of a setup, but not really. I'm gonna take a little damage here, not too much. Almost got the kill right then and there. That's fine. Taking a little damage is no big deal. Yeah, we have self repair, and we're gonna heal from the boss fight. So, whatever. Okay, do we devotion? Do we do we mayhem? GG Trash Knight. Hell yeah. I think I want to do Mayhem. Yeah, Mayhem seems good in this deck. Except for the fact that I could Mayhem out Body Slams. So maybe maybe Devotion. Devotion is more scaling. I don't want to I don't I don't want to waste my Well, no, Mayhem's fine actually because uh because we can retain the Body Slams. Yeah. It's a little late for Black Star. Oops. We could Pandora's Box. We have a lot of strikes and defends. It's all going to be silent stuff, though. It doesn't It doesn't uh, work with Prismatic Shard. Could take the Busted Crown. We do need more mana pretty badly. Um, Pandora's is just going to screw me over, I bet. I think we should take the Crown, but I'm going to let Twitch decide. Okay. Crown it is. Versus, uh... Versus Time Eater. Perhaps the worst possible boss we could have faced with this deck. Especially especially since we just took a Mayhem. Nevertheless, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Crown, oof. It's slightly questionable, but we'll, we'll make it work. Okay. So, um, we've already beaten the Super Elite. Let's choose our path based on where the shop is, because we have 357 gold. So I'm going to go straight here immediately. I still need some extra spice to scale up. I do. I really do. Too bad they're all attacking. Super obnoxious uh, fight here. Guys dead. Got the self heal up. We just have to finish the fight now. I shouldn't may him here because it'll attack him. Oops, not enough energy. Miscounted. Uh, Self-repair is a power, and powers powers don't exhaust, they just go away. They don't really have like a keyword associated with them other than power, so they get skipped by the spoon. <laughs> hey bros, do we take a skewer? <laughs> I don't think I take a skewer. Uh, that's not infinite scaling, that's bad. We don't, I mean, yeah, we have five mana, and we could have seven mana with adrenaline, I think we just take the hit points. Ah, 
Oh hey, question card. Question card could slightly uncuck me with the busted crown. Not in this deck, everything else is going against it. Yeah, I agree. White beast statue. We do have the potion belt, so beast statue is kind of cool. Um, I probably want to grab the footwork. It's hard to say no to the footwork. If I grab the footwork, I cannot do a card remove and the statue. I think I agree that we take the potion relic, considering our extra slots. That would be helpful. Yeah, we'll grab it. Uh, question is, do I want to take the footwork or do I want to do a card remove? Footwork is a lot of value. We're going to take that. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm going to fight. This is going to be perhaps deadly. Oh, we, I don't know about always take the fight, man. We, we probably... To be honest with this deck, we probably shouldn't have taken this fight. <laughs> this could be... This could get ugly in a hurry. Because they scale really hard, and uh, I scale not so hard, you know. Could all for one the neutralize, that's dumb. Uh, I need damage. I have to just take the damage. Good, there's adrenaline. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do this. I think I need to acrobatics and see if I can get my body slams. I cannot, but I can get mayhem, which is okay. That's another footwork. Forget the self-repair. Um, neutralize him so he doesn't do much damage to me. Use the mayhem. Mayhem is good. Footwork. Deceive reality. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mayhem could screw me on body slams, but otherwise uh, it's okay. Okay, one defend will stop me from taking damage here, I think. Yeah. So we can strike. It's just too much defense, man. Yeah, see, body slam for zero. There it is. <laughs> there it is, baby. All right. Um, need barricade. Yeah, barricade would do it, but uh, there's no chance I'm going to get offered barricade. It would, it's the luck required would be insane. Right, let's safety. Let's defend. Let's defend. And body slam that fella. I think I just played a burn. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, we're good. We're good, we're actually good. <laughs> I forgot that was an upgraded electrodynamics. Shovel. We will take the true grip. Okay. Go for events. Two, we can do another shop and actually do a card remove. Uh, yeah, I'll take the helix over the key. That's just an event chest, so we can still get the key. Don't worry. Helix is amazing. <laughs> that's, that's real good, man. That's a buffer. That's a buffer, baby. Alright. Let's do this. Do, do, do. A little dash action here. Let the buffer do the work. Oh, dude, nice. <laughs> nice emoji there. Okay. 20 damage, 30 damage, we block it all. 
Have I played Retropolis? No, I have not. Is it a game about rats by any chance? Finally, Apotheosis, Self-Repair. It's actually the Spire, but Tower Defense. That sounds pretty cool. Alright, this guy's gonna revive. We get... Unfortunately, we, we have to play a longer fight than maybe I might want to. It's not bad, though. Oh, no. Shift plus. I'm gonna do that. Not because it kills him, it doesn't, but it does trigger our ornamental fan. Oh wait, just kidding. My uh, lightning did kill him. So many things to keep track of with this prismatic shard. Discard pile, alright. We're good, we, we win this turn. Okay. GG. Yeah, the buffer is really good. You just don't take damage the first time in combat. I'm not taking a C and D this late. It's not worth it. Not against Time Man. No way. Dude, do I never get offered other um, classes cards anymore because of crown? Is that the crown shard interaction? Because if so, that's kind of it's kind of sad. I'm just in shit town. <laughs> All right. Okay. This fight can be annoying, but we'll we'll do this fight well. This fight is all about, uh, in my experience, it's mostly about being able to generate block, you know, which we can do. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. You know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna shackle him. This is actually the ideal deck, really, for dealing with him. <laughs> Too bad this is a turn where he's intangible. Imagine if it wasn't, you know? Look at this. Look how much armor we would have had. It's dumb. Outrageous, man. Okay, um... Don't want to buy calipers. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I was complaining that you were just letting someone else make money off of ads instead of you getting money for ads. I don't understand, practice pad. I mean, the viewer does get... absolutely does get money. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're, uh... No, you, you, can, you can give yourself the money is the thing. Um, he must not have understood that you can do that. Um, you don't have to give it to another... You don't have to use their system where it's like... They do have a thing built in that's kind of like Patreon. Where you can... You can give stuff to... Wait, what do I want to... What, what's happening right now? Why am I choosing a card to exhaust? Oh, I see. Dude, am I... 
Did I have a brain aneurysm? What the hell is happening? Why why am I choosing a card to exhaust? I didn't cast True Grit, did I? Oh, it's it's Mayhem. Okay. Um Mayhem played the True Grit for me. Oh, uh, why not burn? Great question. Uh, I completely lost my train of thought is why. Uh, because I really like burns, okay? I think they I think it's a good looking card and uh, deserves to be in my deck. <laughs> no, that's alright. Um, alright. We're gonna dash him. Yeah, acrobatics because we need more block. Okay, we're gonna take damage here. The body slam all. Actually, we're not going to take damage because of buffer. Chad, keep burn play. Hell yeah, bro. Bird face turn. We have all the healing we'd ever need. I don't need backflip. Okay, so... I think we'll be digging up relics today. Too bad it's a stupid regal pillow. Alright. Dig a hole, baby. Okay, let's adrenaline first. Hmm. This could get ugly quickly. It's footwork, it's mayhem. Gonna dash this dude. Strike. Oh man. I have to trigger it actually. If I don't want to take damage. Yeah, this fight's terrible for this um this this deck that I have going here. Colorless potion, fairy, energy potion. I'm gonna drink the energy potion actually so that I can kill this thing. Killing it right now is just really important because of the huge damage that's coming in this turn. No zero costs. Yeah, we don't have AoE. We're gonna have to drink this. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards. <sighs> it's not good enough. We have to just good instincts. Let's see, five... Five mana, three... Four, five. Cast everything in hand. Hey, DK, DK Growth, what's up, man? So we can body slam and get... Can we get enough damage with the good instinct? So that's five, right? It's five block. We'll have... One from after image, so six, seven, eight, nine. Um, hold on, we have dex. This should be enough, actually. Yeah, this should be enough. Alright, so we'll do the after image. Do the good instincts. We're actually going to get good instincts back, so it's fine. Um, yes. In fact, I can all for one now. The body slam's going to be enough by far to kill this dude in the back. So, let's all for one this dude instead. Alright, get that back. Kill this douchebag. I'm a survivor, even though I'd rather not. Discard. Yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. Practice pad. Okay, we can kill him. Deceive reality for free. Okay. Hey, there's the card we wanted. It's not bad, man. Seventeen X two. Body slammed. Oh, did I? Did I mayhem a body slam out? Is that what happened? 
It's cool. We got all for one to save us from these situations, so it's really not that bad. To be honest. Okay, I have 46 right now. Deck has to stay small with Mayhem. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and body slam her, even though this guy is gonna do 25 next turn. She'll be summoning, I was gonna say for sure. Choose a card to exhaust. 6, 12. Let's see, 9 plus 6 is 10, 15. That's good enough. 19. Yeah, we can just block everything, so we'll just hit her. It's <laughs> pretty good. God, look at all this block. Imagine if we did get calipers. Bronze, bronze thorns. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're... We got a deck now. We got the deck. Okay. Uh, we want to buy the footwork for sure. I mean, that's a nightmare. We could do funny things with nightmare. Like, we could nightmare footwork. Which would be cute and all, but... I mean, we, we, we actually could get the Nightmare and then card remove. Vajra's not not worth it for this deck. Vajra, Vajra lets my body slam do one damage when it's mayhemed. Drill could be worth it. Drill? Eh, I don't think so. Not against... I mean, who has armor that I'm about to fight against? The Elites in Act 4? I guess, um, I guess it'd be okay versus Time Man. Flask? What are you saying? What flask? Oh, ma bouncing flask. Uh, I do have the Snacko Skull, it's true. I think I want to do Nightmare. It's greedy, but I get to Nightmare footwork and then have just 10 billion decks. I don't think the bouncing flask Snacko combo is good enough to be... Because I don't have a catalyst or anything and I'm not going to get one, you know? I'm just gonna nightmare. We'll do a card remove, take out a strike. This is this is pretty cool. We're gonna have infinite decks is what we're gonna do. The the win condition is is the body slam. There's no question about that. Alright, check it out. I'm not gonna take this elite because we get to dig for relics right here. Get two events instead. Or we could have this really shitty event. What did the red cow relic do? That does plus eight damage. Uh, it's for the first attack. Your first attack you do does plus eight damage. It's really good with things like skewer that hit multiple times. Yeah, I bet with burst it's pretty pretty damn good, Marrow. I think we just lose four max HP here. Um, I don't think madness is worth it in this deck, even though we do get to upgrade it. I could make dashes free, though. That's kind of scaling. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I think we just lose the max HP. Dreamcatcher worthless. Oh, can't afford any of this. Thank you. Oh, you don't want to say anything this time? She uh, popped in and handed me some food. Um, yeah, Mad Madness is, is okay in this deck, but I just want to keep it small so I can... get to my actual apotheosis as fast as possible. Yeah, this is called the Specimen. I've never seen it in my life, but it says when, it poison, when an enemy dies, transfer its poison to a random enemy, which seems pretty cool, but not for this deck, and we can't afford any of this stuff because I'm flat broke. my apotheosis. 
Nightmare Adrenaline. <laughs> uh, do I want a Nightmare Adrenaline? That's kind of funny. Nah. Yeah, Specialman is like... It feels like Corpse Explosion in, uh, in Relic form, you know? This is hilarious. I could even Nightmare Self-Repair for, like, huge heals. Not that I will be doing that, but... Forgot that I had acrobatics here. I like how they're all attacking on turn one. Really, really cute. Um, now I'm gonna need to heal. So we'll need to cycle the deck around real quick. To the self-heal. Or I could just keep using powers, that's probably good enough. Huh, it is good enough. Okay. Bird face turn is good. Oh, hey guys, I can, I can enter Wrath. <laughs> I can't leave Wrath, but I could, I could enter Wrath. Wrath Body Slam. No, there's no way, I should not, I should not enter Wrath, come on. I'll, I guess I get to retain it. Actually, yeah, no, I get to retain it, I can just hold on to that forever. Bottled Flame, should we take the Bottled Flame? What attack would we even want to start with? No, we don't take Bottled Flame. Bottled Flame is no good um, for this deck. No, why would I want to Body Slam on turn one? You're no good. <laughs> I could bo I could bottle the Neutralize, that'd be okay, but... Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we'd rather have a higher chance of getting Apotheosis on turn one. Having a turn one neutralized doesn't help us versus the heart. I don't even think it really helps us versus the time eater. I'm just going to skip it. Okay, Apotheosis turn one. Very good. Deceive. True Grit. Strike away. Defend. And then safety. It replaces one of your draws, is why I wanted to avoid. Good, we make them weak. 6, 12, 18. Still a big damage. Big amount of damage here. Um, 6, 12, 18. Damn, that's going to kill my buffer and then some. Nothing I can do, though. Um, it's past turn, not use the strike. If that goes to 12, he'll... You could use Bottle Flame ter for Terraria. Ah, I really need to stream some Terraria. That's so cool that they did that whole big update. Okay, there's the Nightmare. We were gonna Nightmare... something else, though. I don't want to use... I don't want to use Mayhem this fight. It's too stupid with... too stupid with the Time Eater, with his, um, Time Warp. Yeah, the last update for reals, for sure. I mean, it's amazing that they even bothered to update it as much as they did, you know? Okay, I'm gonna trigger his thing. Yeah. On purpose. Added mod support? That's cool. Okay, acrobatics. Get rid of that. Why not? I'll do the self repair. Do that. Defend. Neutralize. Survivor. The idea is to start building up with our calipers, you know? 
Did they open source it, Green Eggs, or no? I'm guessing no. Okay. So for ultimate scaling, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one footwork. Then I'm gonna defend. Oh man. Taking a bit of damage here. Is this is this worth what I'm doing? Okay, let's just wait. Hold on to these two. Okay. Dash him. Protect. And the survivor. He's gonna be scaling almost as hard as I am. More more really. Because he scales infinitely and I don't. But the calipers kinda sorta lets me scale infinitely. God damn it, there's the nightmare. Okay. Defend. I need to hold... Actually, wait, I can Nightmare right now. Cool. Forgot I was holding the footwork. I'm completely brain-dead right now. Okay. We should go ahead and start the damage train on him. Yeah, Wrath, Wrath doubles damage in. And uh, damage taken. It's really, really good. Smart and good. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, playing DCSS just, like, broke my brain. Okay, let's let him do his next cycle. So, we'll... Defend. Look at all that dex. Look at all that dex. It's 26 block for a defend. It's so stupid. I could go ahead and enter Wrath, actually. That's dumb, though. Let's not do that. Let's, uh... Yeah, defend, body slam, neutralize, will... We'll do this for me. We'll cycle his turn. Boom. Okay, I could I could all for one both body slams. Wow, I think we could kill him this turn. I think we can actually kill him this turn. This is so dumb. Yeah, 18 text is a little bit broke. Um could even make him vulnerable. Yeah, we can totally do this. Even without the vulnerable, I think we can do this. I do defend, defend, safety. Okay. And then we do all for one after we crescendo, right? So we're already doing 20 damage. Doesn't matter that I'm weak, really. Do it, you won't. I will. Two, two body slams. I'll have like 100 damage. Yeah, there's no way. Do double crescendo. I think it exhausts. Yeah, it exhausted. Uh, because I bought the prismatic shard in like my first, my very first shop, which uh, lets you get colorless and other characters' card rewards from from combats. It usually makes it usually just makes you lose, but we managed to make it work this time. I'm gonna do the all for one. Oh yeah, 198 damage. I think we're okay. Even with the weak. God damn, what a deck. This is so dumb. <laughs> Alright, let's see how it does versus the heart. Thank you, Green. Um, gonna have to see how we do, though, with these calipers. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, 1560 is pretty good. Alright, let's dig. Ink bottle, okay. Time slug has been welcomed to the slam. So with 33 gold, sadly, we're not getting any of this. I would have been happy to have souvenir or this fruit juice. Oh well. Good luck on extended. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we will footwork. As much as I don't want to use an unupgraded footwork, I kind of have to. That's that's not dash. Why did I think that was dash? 
Do I want to use potions? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Should have survived instead of defending. Would have had a little bit more damage on the body slam there. Just a minor optimization, but definitely one that exists. Alright, um... If I use all for one, I can get both neutralizes back, which means I can make both of these dudes weak. But we're still gonna suffer a ton of damage here. Have to do this. Have to do this. Have to do it on the. I have to do it on the shield first. Okay, and then we do all for one. Because then I need to make him weak, and then I need to make him weak, turning back around so I take less damage. Uh, and because of the way this has been set up, I get to self repair as well. Although we're still gonna eat a chunk of damage, which is more than I would like. Really ugly. Um, could have after imaged first before that adrenaline, but I wasn't sure how this was gonna go. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get to nightmare footwork unless I let this cycle back around. Which I really shouldn't. Let's just do it this way. Okay. Ink bottle doing a little bit of work for us. Turning to face him made it so we took not too much. Damn it. Damn it, we're just getting cocked on our cards right now. Maybe I should have vaulted him. It might have killed him. I don't think so, but... Yeah, it wouldn't have. Well, we've got a turn and fight. I next two. Blah. I'm gonna do this at least. And then defend. Obviously, I don't want a crescendo. I haven't even pulled my apotheosis, man. It's painful. This is the first fight where I've been bad lucked on apotheosis. Look, it was literally the last card. One of the last two, anyway. That blows dick. That's, that's terrible. Oh, man. I guess I can acrobatics, but at what cost, you know? Get rid of the mayhem. Use the apotheosis. This is cool. We get to shackle him. Take no damage from him. We can take no damage this turn. It's okay. Oh, dude, he reduced my focus. <laughs> because of the prismatic. Instead of debuffing my strength, he debuffed my focus. That's cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll neutralize the other one for sure. So, we can block all damage. I think I just... Defend... I honestly want to trigger the stupid protect away, although that may have been a mistake. We are safe again. For now. Alright, 30 damage coming in. What would I even want to use Nightmare on, you know? At this point. If not a footwork, it's just nothing. Deceive reality, maybe? Eh. Adrenaline, but that, that, that you want to use early, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Mayhem would be kind of cute. Slam. That eh, could be slam. Slam would be okay. Okay, there's the adrenaline. Oh, double body slam. Okay, um... Definitely defend. Could I kill him? Probably not. We probably just want to kill this dude. Yeah, I can I can kill him for sure. Nice. Turn to face. 
You know what? If I had crescendoed, we could have we could have won right here. It's fine. We're not going to take any more damage. Are there more powers in my deck? No way. Yeah, there's a mayhem. So let's let's play real nice with him and draw into that before killing him. Triple adrenaline. It does feel good. My character is high as hell right now, I guess. There's the all for one. I want to draw into my mayhem. It's not impossible. Pogged out of my mind. <laughs> Check it out, I can draw the adrenaline. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nightmare adrenaline is hilarious. Alright, I just wanted to do this to uh, heal too. I wonder how much... God, I wonder how much block I can get right now. It's the adrenaline plus the... Uh, what do you call it? The... The spoon or whatever. Yeah, it's really... Really wild. Five mana left. <laughs> Alright, we got to 366 damage. Boom! Based and spoon-pilled. Based and bronze scale-pilled, actually. Uh, Inky is great. Every ten cards you play, you get a card that you draw. And that actually gets retained between battles, too. Oh, should I take a Thunderclap? That's a source of vulnerable, but it seems like with this potion we'll already have as much vulnerable as we want. Let's just take hit points. Okay, here it is. Do we want a Nightmare Adrenaline or do we want a Nightmare Footwork? Scales with Calipers. Scales doesn't really... I mean, I guess because we have defense, you know. Problem is, n none of these footworks are upgraded. It's really... If I drew into the... If I were able to Adrenaline my way into Apotheosis right now, that'd be great. All the more reason to do it. Let me do this first. We discarded the adrenaline, so that's cool. Um, you know what? It's not over. I can all for one that right back. Let's after him real quick. Hey, 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 people! This is my best uh, Seth Zinch impression there. All because of practice pad. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. It's good, man. Alrighty. Uh, it doesn't matter what I what I do here as far as defense goes because... I mean, yeah, I could body slam her for a little bit, but I'd rather well-laid plans. Okay, cool. And then to push the ink bottle along, even though this will only do, like, one damage... Wait, why is that even doing one damage? I have no block. Does it know about the after image? I don't, uh... Huh. It must know about the after image, because... It knows about six decks, but that... It's only supposed to do damage based on my block. I don't have any strength. Then it only did one. <laughs> or it did zero, rather. That's wild. Anyway, we'll pass turn. Um, probably keep... Just quit questioning things. But practice pad, that's how you get good at games, is you gotta, you gotta question stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my fire potion. Um, I should have drank my artifact before this turn I messed up. Alright, we're gonna footwork. Footwork. I'm gonna need to... Yeah, I'm gonna need to dash and true grit this turn. We'll just keep the footwork for later. Alright. 
forget the crescendo. I mean, it, it retains anyway. After Image does a pretty good job, yeah. Okay, except he's about to do 15, 30, 45, 60 damage to me. Which is no joke. Gonna need the acrobatics. Get the... Get the strike away. Okay, good. We get to make him weak. That's really important. Hey, we get to shackles him, actually. He'll do nothing. Get fucked. It's an okay time to slam. We don't have that much block. Can get this out of the deck. Is your X-15 against Thorns? Pretty good. Alright, it's time to make him vulnerable. Could have done it next turn, I guess, but... It caps at 300, unfortunately. You can't, you can't just, like, turn one limit break his ass to death. As cute as that would be. Alright, so I think we just, we just win now. Because we're going to have infinite block. Choose a card to copy. What? What? Let me choose a card to copy. What do I have in my deck that copies? I understand that Mayhem did something here, but... Am I... Oh, it's Nightmare! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't realize that was the text. I Mayhemed right in Nightmare? That's, that's awful. Yeah, okay. Uh, what should we copy? What a what a bad piece of luck that is. Um, neutralize? No, that's not going to be neutralized. I'm tempted to copy the Electrodynamics for healing. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize the Nightmare didn't exhaust. That's funny. I would have kept a footwork in that case. Yeah, safety seems correct. Let's do the safety. It's a discard pile again. And adrenaline, adrenaline is still here too. That's wild. Okay. Could have all for one him. What, with a lot of neutralizes? I guess. We'll, we'll get him weak again. No, he's not. He's not weak. Okay. Get to keep our adrenaline. Hopefully I can nightmare that at some point. Neutralize him. Artifact is gone. This is so wild. Yeah, we're good to do both defense. Very safe deck. Yeah, we could just kind of keep defending, and I think even with his strength gain, we'll kill him with thorns, maybe. Although we haven't done that much damage to him, so I probably shouldn't get cocky. Um, this is good. Let's defend. It is time to slam, and come on and jam, and so on and so forth. But let's acrobatics. Actually, wait, let's safety first. Um, why do I want acrobatics? So I can body slam twice, that's goofy. I don't wanna, I don't wanna acrobatics. I wanna have a big body slam next turn as well. Boom! Because the thing is, you can only do 300 to him per turn, so... 
Oh, ha! Hey guys, Mayhem Body Slam is good. <laughs> oh man. It's good now. With calipers, it's good. Body slam when the game wants you to. <laughs> Dab on him with wrath, I will. Not that I can actually kill him this turn. But I just want to show him my superiority by taking damage during a wrath turn. GG. Oh, I should have slammed him to death. Oh well, he got dashed to death, that's that's fine. Damn, that was uh Damn, that was good. I mean, I just dabbed on it, like I memed on it hard with prismatic shard. Shouldn't even be possible, you know. <laughs> let me let me look at that deck again real quick. That is the goofiest deck. Come on, college boy. Thank you, Rizal. Woo Prism Shard win. Yeah, man. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the follow. Can I get a? Yeah, the caliper. The calipers was outrageous. Like, I think we would have won even without the calipers. But this this turned this deck into. A contender, man. <laughs> like, even without it, we were still doing pretty, pretty well with body slams. But no, that's that's outrageous, man. Because then we could just go infinite. Well, nine nine nine. Can't actually get more than nine 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 armor. Did we have cards from every every character? That's that's ironclad. That's me. Silent. That's uh, defect. And yeah, that's watcher. We had cards from everybody. SSJ1 to SSJ4. The Denny's Hobbit Slam deck. That was good. That was that was a lot of fun. Um, what's the body slam art? <laughs> is that the is that the slime with his little hat coming to smash them all? Yeah, that was that was some sauce for sure. Um Nightmare, well, what's funny is, like, Nightmare Footwork is so cool because I, I didn't realize this until the end, but I could have, I could have kept one of the Footworks because the thing is, Spoon was letting me get my Nightmare back. So I could have Nightmared Footwork multiple times and ended up with, like, 50 decks, uh, which would have been just outrageous. You get a big point bonus from having a card of every type. Is that true? Um, can I see my points? Can I see that? Is that possible? No? There's, uh, I mean, I don't know. I would, I would believe it. Anyway, that was Silent. Ascension number 14. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.